الدليل الثاني الهام جدا هو الدليل الجيني الجينات الجينات عندما صار لدينا الان القدره منذ حوالي 15 سنه على فك يعني كتابه الشفره الجينيه للبشر والشفره الجينيه لمعظم الحيوانات اورانغوتان شمبانزي غوريلا دجاج قط الى اخره ووضعناها امامنا وهي طويله جدا طويله جدا يعني على الاقل يعني عشرات الالاف من الجينات عشرات الالاف من الجينات تحطها واحده امام الثانيه هذا جينوم البشر هذا جينوم الغوريلا هذا جينوم الحوت هذا جينوم كذا وجدنا انها فعلا متطابقه بنسبه تصل تتز... يعني تزيد بالنسبه على الاقل الرئيسيات البرايمتس هذه تزيد عن 94 95% بعضها يصل الى 99% تطابق بل نجد ان الفروق البسيطه الموجوده هي فعلا الفروق التي حدثت مؤخرا لاننا يمكن ان نعود الى هذه الطفرات وندرسها علميا ونعرف متى حدثت وكم صار لها من الزمن ونعرف ان آه هذه حدثت مؤخرا معنى صارت بين هذا الجنس وهذا الجنس اه هذه اقدم معنى صارت بين هذا الجنس وهذا الجنس وهكذا Often said that we humans share 50% of our DNA with bananas, 80% with dogs, and 99% with chimpanzees. Taken literally, those numbers make it sound like we could pluck one cell from a chimp and one from a human, pull out the tangled bundles of DNA known as chromosomes, unroll each one like a scroll, and read off two nearly identical strings of letters. But in reality, the human and chimp scrolls don't sync up so easily. In the six to eight million years since we split from our last common ancestor, chance mutations and natural selection have changed each of our genomes in radical and unique ways. Two human scrolls fused, leaving us with 23 pairs of chromosomes to chimps 24. Other large mutations revised huge sections of text, duplicating a chunk of human DNA here, 
erasing a chunk of chimp DNA there, while throughout the scrolls, tiny mutations swapped one letter for another. When researchers sat down to compare the chimp and human genomes, the single letter differences were easy to tally, but the big mismatch sections weren't. For example, if a genetic paragraph thousands of letters long appears twice in a human scroll, but only once in its chimp counterpart, should that second human copy count as thousands of changes, or just one? And what about identical paragraphs that appear in both genomes, but in different places, or in reverse order, or broken up into pieces? Rather than monkey around with these difficult questions, the researchers simply excluded all the large mismatch sections, a whopping 1.3 billion letters in all, and performed a letter-by-letter -letter comparison on the remaining 2.4 billion, which turned out to be 98.77% identical. So, yes, we share 99% of our DNA with chimps, if we ignore 18% of their genome and 25% of ours. And there's another problem. Just as a small tweak in a sentence can alter its meaning entirely, or not at all, a few mutations in DNA sometimes produce big changes in a creature's looks or behavior, whereas other times, lots of mutations make very little difference. So just counting up the number of genetic changes doesn't really tell us that much about how similar or different two creatures are. But that doesn't mean we can't learn anything.
I'm not so sanguine as some of my colleagues here that there's only one life form on this planet. Uh, we have a lot of different types of metabolism, uh, different organisms. Uh, I wouldn't call you the same life form as the one we have that lives in pH 12 base that would dissolve your skin uh, if we dropped you in it. Oh, I've got the same genetic code. We'll have a common ancestor. You, well, you don't have the same genetic code. In fact, the mycoplasmas use a different genetic code and little would bit. not work in, uh, in your cells. So there, there are a lot of variations on the but you're, not, but you're not saying it belongs to a different tree of life from me, are you? Well, I think the tree of life is an artifact of... Uh, some early scientific studies that aren't really holding up. So the, the tree, uh, you know, there, there may be a bush of life. Uh, right. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, bush. I don't like that word. <laughs> Rich, Richard, oh, but that's only in. Oh, I can see uh, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there is not a tree of life, and in fact, from our deep sequencing of organisms in the ocean, out of now we have about 60 million uh, different. Uh, uh, unique gene sets. Uh, we found 12 that look like a very, very deep branching, perhaps fourth domain of life. Uh, that obviously is extremely rare that it only shows up out of those few sequences. But it's still DNA based. Uh, but you know, the diversity we have in the DNA world, I, I'm not so sanguine and ready, ready to throw out the DNA world. I think we're going to, maybe uh, like Richard was saying, we're, we're going to find the same uh, molecules and the same base systems wherever we look.